This video will demonstrate the steps required to uh, cache tiles from an ArcMap MXD project for use with GeoSync Go Plus. The idea here is we want to be able to take the uh, aerials that we have in this particular map, this is the water system, and be able to cache those and then be able to use those uh, either uh, in a connected, as part of our connected web map or then also be able to use those in a disconnected environment as well with GeoSync Go Plus. One of the requirements uh, besides just having the MXD created uh, for this for this to, uh, to function is we need to have a boundary layer created. So this is just a boundary polygon that's been drawn that, that uh, delineates the overall uh, area that we want to be able to cache our tiles out of. This needs to be uh, this needs to be in place uh, before you before you try to create tiles. The uh, the other thing that's really important here is that all of the layers and the data frame all have a valid projection set uh, for them. They don't have to be in the same projection, but they do need to have uh, a valid uh, spatial projection set, or the data will not cache properly. So the, the steps involved is uh, we have our MapSync GSGO published toolbar that's been added. You can get this add-in from the geosyncgo.com download site uh, is in place. And we want to use the export tool to be able to export this boundary polygon for use so that we can, we can create our tiles. I'm opening the export tool and we'll select our tile test boundary and just export from here. And that creates an XML file that we can now use to help us uh, do, the, uh, to do the tile building. The other tool that you're going to need uh, to do this is the GeoSync Go Tile Builder. And you can download this also from geosyncgo.com from the download. And the version has to be matched. The Go Tile Builder version has to match to your version of ArcMap. And there are versions out there from 10.0 through 10.5. But before we go to the Geosync Go Tile Builder, we first have to go to Geosync Go AM Tools. And we're going to go ahead and open that up. And we've signed into AM Tools. And we need to go to GIS Tools and our Grid Builder. So we first have to define a grid for the tiles to be built. And the way we do this is we are going to select the boundary tile test boundary that we exported using the the map sync export tool it's going to be in this list tile test boundary and when this opens then uh, this goes ahead and gives us a cache folder name and we want to go ahead and set this we're going to call this city of water arc map to delineate the name of the cache folder now we have an option here at this point what's going to happen is this is going to cache tiles based on the extent of this boundary uh, shapefile or boundary layer that that we created in ArcMap but I could use this to also filter that based on the actual polygon instead of the to, instead of the extent but I'm just going to leave this and use the extent of this particular layer this gives me an idea of how many tiles will be created at each different uh, map level or zoom level. And we need to select the levels that we want to create tiles from. And I'm going to do 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, down to 16. And, and what I typically would do here is I would go ahead and do a small set, create some tiles, go in and check and make sure that everything is correct before I go ahead and create uh, tiles at these at these other levels where the the number of tiles can grow pretty uh, pretty dramatically. So the next step is to build grid file, and this goes through and actually builds a configuration files for this particular cache process. Gives me some idea of how many uh, how many tiles are written. If we had used the filter, then it would give us some idea of how many besides 90 tiles it might be less than than 90 that is written here. So the next step, once this has been complete, and we want to go to our Go Tile Builder, we have this tool open, and now we need to go out and pick our MXD file that we created.
and here's our tile test MXD and when this opens it will go ahead and open the MXD and we should see the map just like it was in ArcMap we can we can zoom in use our pan tool and look at this now when I do the cache I don't really want the waterline or this boundary to actually show up so I'm going to turn these two layers off all I really want is the aerial and I want it to cache based on the area that we had which is the extent of this tile boundary so it's not going to necessarily uh, clip this at this level it's going to do it's going to work within the extent of this particular uh, layer we select the folder, city, water, arc map. This is the one that we just put together, and you'll see it has a list of the grids or the, uh, the levels that we had selected. I have to select the ones that I want to actually cache from here. And then I have some options in here to overwrite tiles. If I've already done this once and I want to go back and do it, I can have it overwrite or just append to the tiles. I'm going to go ahead and run this process. And this is now running, into, and as it runs, it's giving me an idea of what level it's operating at, and it's already completed the creation of those tiles. The next step is to go to Geosync Go, uh, to go to Geosync Go Plus, and then we can look at this in our Geosync Go Plus project. We've already signed in, and we're going to go to our map. And then we can look at this based on our tile sets because we have cache tiles and the tiles that we just created, city, water, arc map, are here. So we've just created a set of tiles from uh, arc map for use with Geosync Go Plus. Now we can either use these in conjunction with live layers on this desktop computer or we can deploy this uh, for disconnected use on a number of devices or we could go through and upload those tiles to the Geosync Go Cloud for uh, connected use and sharing to phones and other devices.